Washington today, an effort in Congress to investigate an effort by the Obama administration to create green jobs, but this one went bad. A solar energy company championed by the president himself. It received half a billion dollars in government loans, and then it went bankrupt last month. Well, today, Republicans were looking for some answers here. The story from our senior investigative correspondent, Lisa Myers. The president visited the company, Solyndra, last year, hailing it as a stimulus success story. The true engine of economic growth will always be companies like Solyndra. Today, the company is bankrupt. 1,100 workers laid off. Taxpayers stand to lose as much as $500 million. I think everyone must agree uh, uh, that there's some scandal involved in this. Should someone be fired? House Republicans today hammered the White House, revealing emails which suggest the administration was in a hurry to provide taxpayer money despite red flags about the company's viability. Yeah, there was pressure, but it was pressure applied, applied in pushing this thing out the door. Just days before the deal approved, a staffer warns that one model shows the project runs out of cash in September 2011, which it did. Another questioned the government's assumptions, but said given the time pressure we are under to sign off on Solyndra, we don't have time to change the model. Why the rush? Emails showed that the White House wanted the vice president to announce a final deal the next week, which he did. Still, administration officials insist everything was handled properly. Extensive due diligence was done across multiple years. They blame the company's collapse on unforeseeable market conditions, which caused solar prices to plummet this year. At the end of the day, the taxpayer loses big time. I mean, it just it stinks to high heaven. Still, the White House argues this was a necessary risk for the U.S. to compete in a high-tech global economy. Lisa Myers, NBC News, Washington.